Hello my YouTube friends. I hope each and every one of you are well and good and doing something amazing in your life. And I welcome you to this episode of the slide show. Before starting this episode, I wanted to thank each and every one of you who subscribed my channel. We are now at 900 subscribers. Thank you so much for your love and support guys. It means a lot to me. In this episode, I am going to discuss inspirational quotes by Stanley. So without wasting any time, let's start it. Stanley really was Stanley Martin Lieber. He was born on December 28, 1922 and passed away on November 12, 2018. He was an a famous American comic book writer, editor and publisher who was active from 1940 to 2010. In collaboration with others at Marvel, particularly co-writer artists Jack Kirby and Steve Ditko, he co-created numerous popular fictional characters including superheroes like Spider-Man, the X-Men, Iron Man, Thor, the Hulk, the Fantastic Four, Black Panther, Daredevil, Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch and Ant-Man. In doing so, he pioneered a more naturalistic approach to writing superhero comics in the 1960s and in the 1970s he challenged the restrictions of the Comics Code Authority indirectly leading to changes in its policies. In the 1980s he pursued development of Marvel properties in other media with mixed results. Following his retirement from Marvel in the 1990s he remained a public figurehead for the company and frequently made cameo appearances in films based on Marvel characters on which he received an honorary executive producer credit. Meanwhile he continued independent creative ventures into his 90s until his death in 2018. Lee was inducted into the comic book industry's Will Eisner Award Hall of Fame in 1994 and the Jack Kirby Hall of Fame in 1995. He received the NEA's National Medal of Arts in 2008. Now friends, here are some inspirational quotes by Stanley. Quote number 1: Marvel is a cornucopia of fantasy, a wild idea, a swashbuckling attitude, an escape from the humdrum and prosaic. It's a serendipitous feast for the mind, the eye, and the imagination, a literate celebration of unbridled creativity, coupled with a touch of rebellion and an insolent desire to spit in the eye of the dragon. Quote number 2. Life is never completely without its challenges. Quote number 3. I used to be embarrassed because I was just a comic book writer while other people were building bridges or going on to medical careers. And then I began to realize entertainment is one of the most important things in people's lives without it they might go off the deep end I feel that if you are able to entertain people you are doing a good thing Quote number 4 Comic books themselves are getting more literate and there are people who are screenwriters and television writers and novelists who are writing for the comics for some reason they love doing it and some of the artwork in the comics i mean it rivals anything you will see hanging on the walls of museums they are illustrations more than drawings and all the people are discovering this and they are turning on to it quote number 5 the only advice anybody can give is if you want to be a writer keep writing and read all you can read everything Quote number 6 I wanted them to be diverse the whole underlying principle of the X-Men was to try to be an anti-bigotry story to show there is good in every person Quote number 7 Technology isn't a villain technology should help but if you just use technology for the sake of technology then you are cheating your audience you are not giving them the best story and the best direction and so forth Quote number 8 All I thought about when I wrote my stories was I hope that these comic books would sell so I can keep my job and continue to pay the rent. Never in a million years could I have imagined that it would turn into what it has evolved into nowadays. Never. Quote number 9. With great power come great responsibility. Quote number 10. If Shakespeare and Michelangelo were alive today and if they decided to collaborate on a comic, Shakespeare would write the script and Michelangelo would draw it. How could anybody say that this wouldn't be as worthwhile an art form as anything on earth? Quote number 11. Some people will say, why read a comic book? It stifles the imagination. If you read a novel, you imagine what people are like. If you read a comic, it's showing you. The only answer I can give is, you can read a Shakespeare play, but does that mean you wouldn't want to see it on stage? Quote number 12. I am happiest when I'm working. If I'm not working I feel like I'm wasting my time. Quote number 13. 
Just because you have superpowers, that doesn't mean your love life would be perfect. I don't think superpowers automatically means there wouldn't be any personality problems, family problems or even money problems. I just tried to write characters who are human beings who also have superpowers. Quote number 14. The more you read, the better you are going to become as a storyteller. Quote number 15. I never understood why people take drugs. They are habit forming and they can kill you. I didn't need anything to pep me up or make me feel more creative. And I didn't need them to help me with women. Quote number 16. If there are people who like the work you have done, because of that, they like you and want your autograph and to take a photo, that's really gratifying. You have to be appreciative. Quote number 17. If I got a superpower, I wouldn't say, oh, I got to get a costume and put on a mask. I would say, hey, I can do something better than other people. How can I turn it into a bug? Quote number 18. To my way of thinking, whether it's a superhero movie or a romance or a comedy or whatever, the most important thing is you have got to care about the characters. You have got to understand the characters and you have got to be interested. If the characters are interesting, you're halfway home. Quote number 19. I never thought that Spider-Man would become the worldwide icon that he is. I just hoped the books would sell and I had keep my job. Quote number 20. I have been very lucky. All I wanted was to pay the rent. Then these characters took off and suddenly there were Hulk coffee mugs, Iron Man lunch boxes and the Avengers sweatshirts everywhere. Money is okay, but what I feel like is working. Quote number 21. No one has a perfect life. Everybody has something that he wishes was not the way it is. Quote number 22. To me, writing is fun. It doesn't matter what you are writing as long as you can tell a story. Quote number 23. I don't really see a need to retire as long as I am having fun. Quote number 24. If you want to be an artist, carry a sketch pad with you and sketch everything you see, get, so you can draw anything and it looks like what it is supposed to be. It's a lot of work, but if you really have it in you, it's not like work. It becomes fun. Quote number 25. Virtually every kid is exposed to giants and ogres and talking bulls and so forth and magic. And I think you never outgrow your love for those imaginative, fanciful, far-fetched, fantastic characters and situations. Quote number 26. Singing a song, playing sports, anything that entertains that takes people away from their own problems is good. Quote number 27. There's never a time when I'm not working. I don't take vacations. Quote number 28. I think people are interested in anything that's a little bigger than life and that's colorful. And you know what they like? They like fairy tales for grown-ups. Quote number 29. I'm very proud of being a hack. It's why I have lived as long as I have, I think. Quote number 30. I enjoyed reading Batman and Superman and all the super ones, but I never wished I created them. I have got to let there be some work for other people. Quote number 31. I'm just working with ideas in my head and with drawings that the artist did and suddenly to see these things come to life in movies, it's just wonderful. Quote number 32. I think the way you become a good storyteller is to read a lot of stories and evaluate them in your own mind. Quote number 33. To tell you the truth, I never thought of myself as much of a success. Quote number 34. I thought it would be great to do superheroes that have the same kind of life problems that any reader, that anybody could have. Quote number 35. I think comics will always be around. I think there is something nice about a comic book. People love to hold them, turn the pages, fold them up, roll them up, stick them in their back pocket, show them to a friend and say, hey, look at this. Quote number 36. If you enjoy what you do, if you're interested in what you do, I really think that's the best situation. Quote number 37. I always figure I'm not unique and something that would please me hopefully would please a lot of other people that have the same tastes that I can do. Quote number 38. I see myself in everything I write. All the good guys are me. Quote number 39. Luck is one of the most important things in the world and really has a role to play in everything 
and in marriage i have been lucky enough to be married to the same girl for all these years quote number 40 i don't think you ever outgrow your love for things that are bigger than life and more colorful than the average life and somehow i feel that these comic book stories are like fairy tales for old people because they have the same qualities with this beautiful quote by stanley this episode ends here and i hope you guys like it and if you have any suggestions for me do let me know in the comment section and i want to thank you guys again for all the love and support you have gave to this channel i will meet you guys in the next episode till then bye bye take care love and peace